Okay, at the lathe, you see I've got a two inch grinding wheel here. And this is a small metal. Um, it's about two and a quarter inches long. Kind of, kind of see that. And uh, it's about as thick as maybe a dime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind the back of that. Uh, so it's a little bit thinner, it's pretty, pretty solid. I'm going to do this on a slow speed on the grinder. That get hot really fast, so got a little container of water to quench it. I don't want it to lose its color either, so I want to make sure it stays cool. It looks like that's uh, solid bronze. That should be thin enough. So I didn't lose any color on the front. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take that to the um, to the drill press and I'm gonna bend it. This is gonna be the same process as if I'm bending gears. I'm gonna put the metal side down. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a Her dowel. Okay, you can see it's starting to take a little shape. I'm just going to work its way through the uh, through the angles. So this is the size of my brass tube right here. It actually fits in that slot, but the angle I'm going to need is probably going to be here to fit this for the inside diameter, to fit that after I get it uh, bent down. And you see this is long enough to fit for that when I steampunk it. I'm just going to give that another push, pull it out, that's why I have the screwdriver, flip that around the other side so I can get a good bend on the other side of it, so that's conforming to that right there, and then I'll just straighten that out, and then uh, you get the basic idea how that looks. Just paint the tube and then I'll cast it next. Normally I use a nail polish, a clear nail polish as an adhesive. And uh, this time I just use some double-sided scotch tape to affix everything. I need to put a little, little more right here to make that a little bit tighter on the back side. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and cast that next. Just put that in the cast. 
I'll let that set in for a day. And I'll take that out tomorrow and see how that looks. Okay, we got the metal taken out of the cast. I've softened up the corners so that when I turn it, it'll be easier, won't get as much chip out to start with. And um, this is gonna be the low end. This is gonna be the, the cap side. It's gonna be, unfortunately, it's gonna be a, a really fat pin. Not exactly the way I wanted it to turn out, but it was just the nature of, of how things worked out. But we'll, anyway, we'll give it a shot and see how it turns. Turns it Okay, now that the piece is turned and I like the shape, now we just need to wet sand it down and we're going to be using micro mesh. We're going to be going through the 1500 through 12,000 and then um, we'll see how it turns out.
see how that looks. That looks pretty good. We'll just assemble it next.